Today on Toy Habits Reviews, we have the former evil samurai warrior who's now aligned with He-Man on the examination table. Toy and before we get into the review, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel so you can be alerted to the latest reviews, news, and episodes when they drop. Hey everyone, welcome back to Toy Habits and we are coming at you from our examination room. I'm Michael and with me is my collector in crime, Larry, and today we're taking a look at the Masters of the Universe, Masterverse, New Eternia Jitsu and comparing him to his Motu Classics counterpart. And let's start off by looking at the box. And I just, I really love the way he's posed in this box. Yeah, it, it's cool that uh, that shiny gold uh, hand is is right there front and center. And yeah, he looks great. I, I like the, the head sculpt a lot. I like that the the sword is is in the other hand. And uh, I don't think you could ask for more. Yeah, I, I love that. Also, the mask is just packed on its own, yeah. and not on him. Um, yep. But you know, we get a a nice detailed look at the box art. I like that actually his unmasked head is here, and you kind of have him with his masked look on both sides here i don't know the, the mask looks a little like like proportionally a little off or something maybe but yeah. i think it's just the style of mask that it is but it, it does kind of throw off the uh you know kind of his head a little bit um but it still looks it still looks good it's just uh i do kind of prefer it without the mask i think it's a cool extra um extra accessory to be thrown in there but i, I kind of like it without the mask better personally i do too and speaking of looking at him maskless let's get him cracked open and take a closer look all right and now we have jitsu out of the box and we also have his classics figure that we will just keep handy when we need him so let's start from the top and the first thing that jumped out at me was the head sculpt and they're really integrating a lot more of the traditional samurai features to him so for example, he has a traditional chonmage hairstyle. So that's the hair that kind of travels from the back to the front of his head sculpt. It looks really well kept. Um, it looks, uh, you know, kind of like sculpted, you know, like he's, it's like it's, uh, he spends a lot of time, you know, maintaining it, I guess, and keeping it uh, nice and tidy, which seems like it would go along with like a, a, a kind of a samurai, you know, style personality and kind of thing. He definitely like the head sculpt. He looks a lot less uh, grizzled. Yeah. Um, kind of like the uh, it's like the the softer side of Jitsu. You know, it's <laughs> uh, he looks younger. Uh, there's a lot less anger in the face, I guess. You know. Yeah, and I mean, I guess now that they're giving him more of a heroic warrior presence, maybe that's part of it. I mean, a lot of times, you know, we get these little the little blurbs on the on the back of the box and. Um, that's really all you get because it's not like there's, you know, the comics to go along with this or anything. And he also comes with a samurai half mask. It basically covers his face from the nose down to the chin. And I've also heard this referred to as an Oni mask. And I, and I think it's a cool accessory. I like that they've, you know, added it in there. I think it's a, it's a cool thing to be able to, you know, definitely change the look of the, of the figure. Yeah, and it's actually really easy to put on. You can just kind of slip it over the back of his hair and you just... Um, wiggle it down to his face and it's meant to cover his ears and so it's it actually really fits really nice and securely there and it just gives him a totally different look and i think it, the other other little little kind of weird thing is just with the the silver teeth um yep. you know and then having the gold tone in the armor that's a little little odd but i don't i don't i don't think it would have looked right with gold teeth so i think it's you know i think it still looks cool yeah silver grill is nice <laughs> yep <laughs> But um, the armor is really, really detailed here. And so it's, uh, you know, I think they made a conscious effort to actually make the armor look like either a falcon or a bird on the front. And mm -hmm. they gave it, um, you know, it's more of like a bug design on the back. So I think whereas in the in the classics version, it just kind of looked like ornamental pieces on the armor. And they actually really made it a lot more cohesive in the Masterverse version you know maybe i don't know i don't know if there's any kind of significance as far as like his his rank or like any kind of um ancestry kind of component to to samurai armor or anything like that but maybe there's some of that in there um but yeah i think it's cool um you know always before yeah it was just kind of like an intricate design um and i think it's cool that it has you know some kind of symbols that go along with it now and i think the the back of it looks awesome yeah i like yeah. it a lot and then his uh his chopping hand or his gauntlet hand is really it's really nice it's, it's a lot more form-fitting than 
the classics version, which just looked super oversized. Yeah, and this one this one looks more just like what should be a, a jitsu hand instead of like the Infinity Gauntlet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> which I, I never really noticed it before, but I think seeing it side by side with this master ver- version, you get that feel of of the Infinity Gauntlet more out of the old yeah. one now. Oh, totally. That's exactly when I put these things side by side, that's exactly what I was thinking. But yeah. it's actually it's actually nice because this one is a lot more shinier. This, you know, the yeah. classics one had a matte finish and it actually looks cool. Like one, one thing I would love for them to do in the future is actually make this slip on and off. So uh, this, um, this of course isn't a die cast, right? It's just no. a regular. Yeah. It's just plastic. I don't know. It feels a little odd. I, you know, I guess to have like the heavier hand for him and then yeah. Jitsu comes along and it's just the, the vac metal, um, plastic or whatever, but yeah. I, it's still cool. It's just kind of a, a weird, um, as far as the weight of it, um, it's almost like it's an unfair advantage for, uh, for for Fisto now. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Well, he's he's not even living anymore in the Revelation series. Oh, let's not talk about that. That's <laughs> <not cool. laughs> um, on his other on his left hand, he's got a bracer which you can take on and off, which is neat, and it's got some details and it's got yeah, I think it actually looks looks really cool um, on the bottom too. It just has like kind of a brown leathery strap look to it. Yeah, and I think that that's uh, it's a cool accessory because uh, you know once again it's something you can remove if you don't like it. You know, it looks like an actual piece of armor, and uh, I think that's a, a cool element to it. Oh, it definitely is. And uh, moving down to the waist piece, he's got a really cool looking piece of waist armor here, and it's got um, this isn't rope; uh, it's just a plastic piece that moves around, and it's his armor looks really really detailed on the side here. Yeah, yeah, I think it um, it it looks like what you would think of as far as a, kind of a samurai, you know, waist piece, and I think it's it looks great. Um, I like the detailing that they did. I think the the orange and the gold looks cool. Yeah. Um, and I like the the kind of the rope tying, you know, tying around the waist. I think that's a good look for it. Um, it looks, you know, kind of looking at it compared to the classics, it, it looks more like um like a, a an actual battle battle piece or maybe a, a training piece rather than like more of a, like a formal or ornamental um, style that they did for classics. Yeah. Um, and I kind of like that. I think it, it looks good. Yeah. I like that too. And he also comes with a sword that you can actually stow in his waist armor piece there. So maybe let's take a look at that now. And his sword, you know, it's a traditional jitsu orange so- sword with some gold detail on the handle. The orange and the gold kind of matches along with with his coloring, and yeah, uh, yeah it looks pretty good. And I and I love the idea of the scabbard, you know, being uh, being added there. I think that's cool. Yeah. I don't know. Is that, is that is it still a scabbard? I guess it is, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe there's a special name for it. There probably is. Somebody will somebody will help us with the with that in the comments. Hopefully. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you can you can definitely count on that one. But yeah, yep. I love the fact that you can stow his sword on him so you don't lose it or it just gives him and think like you were saying before just another display option yeah and i, and I think they're doing uh, yeah a great job with this um same as the the gi joe classified line of of having like different ways of um you know storing weapons and accessories on the figure um and it's not always the same thing you know you don't always just have that uh, you know, the scabbard on the back or, you know, just the, the spot to put the sword or whatever, um, you know, stuff like this makes the, that character kind of stand out because it's, it's a different kind of layout for, for where they're, they keep their weapon. And I, I think the only strange thing here is that it's, it's on his left side and he's got that chopping hand that's, you know, it's, it's fixed. So he can't grab the sword with that. So he's, he's got to grab it with the left and then draw it out. And that feels a little awkward. But. Yeah. It was awkward. I was actually doing some posing photography with him trying to grab his sword and it just felt really weird. It's like, uh, that's, yeah. that's, that's not, not going to work. <laughs> I mean, maybe maybe he's double jointed or something at yeah. the elbow and he can kind of flip it around. I don't know. But yeah, because uh... usually you would, you know, you would yeah, exactly. cross your stomach. right? If, and grab if, it. Yeah, if you were drawing it with the right hand, it'd probably be fine. But uh, yeah. I almost think you'd want that yeah. flipped around, but, but I, you know, that's the course just, <laughs> yeah. just, uh, it, um, just us kind of thinking, thinking about these things maybe too much, but yeah. just, just in looking at it, I like, think that's the only thing. Like functionally, like how would this work? Right. It's, you yes. know, it's something to think about. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yep. The waist piece comes off really easily too. So you can actually uh, strip them down yep. to, uh, you know, to his bare uh, minimums here, <laughs> his, <Yep. laughs> his mask, you know, you can take it off in, in the reverse too. So I'm not going to take his armor off, but if you want, you can 
take that off too, but he is pretty much um, pretty bare bones uh, when you get down to the waist and the legs. It's just a black on black paint apps, which actually look really cool. Yeah, it does look cool. I think it's, um, I, I don't know what else you would do as far as the boots. You know, maybe maybe he could have had some some brown touches or something in there, but I think the black looks good. Um, you know, I like the uh, kind of the, the furry uh, loincloth. I think it looks cool. And then yeah. if you, you know, adding that extra, you know, uh, waist armor over the top of it, I, I think it looks great. So. Oh, yeah, I definitely. I actually really like the waist armor on there and I wasn't really sure how I would feel about it. But when I took it off, I was like, OK, he looks kind of plain. So yeah. we'll just leave the we'll leave the waist armor on him and, um, you know, we can display him that way. The only extra another extra accessory that he comes with is just the, an open hand, which I would I don't know I, if there's another gripping type of hand that would have been better to come with him because again, this is another hand that you can't hold anything with. And so now he's got two hands that he can't do anything with. But if his hands are lethal weapons, then these are weapons in and of themselves. I almost think maybe a closed, a closed fist, you know, completely closed fist might be a, a better, you know, maybe, maybe one that's open to hold the sword and then a closed fist for yeah. just, you know, like a, a fighting kind of thing. But um, but yeah, I think it's cool. Looks good. Yeah, looking at the Motu Classics comparison just directly here, I know we've had him in the shot pretty much for the whole time, but you can clearly see a lot of the differences in the Classics buck versus the Masterverse buck. Yeah, it's it's startling. Uh, in this one, I haven't, I don't, I don't think I've noticed it at nearly this much in some of the other figures. I, and I know it's the same. It's some of it's the armor is a lot bulkier in the classics figure, but man, the arms, the arms are like oh, huge yeah. compared to, you know, in, in classics compared to Masterverse. Oh, they're huge. Um, and, and maybe that goes along with our theory that, uh, you know, this is a younger Jitsu. The older Jitsu is just, uh, just a lot more buff and just, <laughs> just a lot bigger, you know, this yeah. one, the Masterverse is just uh, younger and uh, a little more slim. Yeah. And the classics one is, you know, he's also spending a little bit more time in the sun too. So they actually gave him like a more normal looking complexion, which is nice. I actually, I'm mm -hmm. not a fan of the orangey kind of spray tan look of yeah, season yeah. four. And I really like his complexion here in the Masterverse version. Yeah, I agree. I think he, he looks great. It's a, I think it's a really good figure. Yeah, it totally is. And as for a rating, uh, I would give this figure a six and a four six and a half out of seven um it's a really great figure just from a sculpt perspective and i just i love the younger look that they gave him and i think that they did a great job just making the armor a lot more cohesive and just have a theme to it um the only thing that i'm gonna ding him a half a point on is just the lack of accessories that he comes with so i feel like for a new eternia version it should come with a little bit extra pack out like uh, battle armor he-man came with a bunch of stuff overall i think it's a great looking figure yeah i i think um i think i'm with you i think it's a six and a half for me as well um there's there's really nothing and i don't i, I don't i guess i don't know what i'm knocking a half a point off i guess i don't i maybe don't feel like i feel like he's a perfect figure yeah but there yeah there isn't much here at all to complain about um, i do i do agree as far as the accessories the weird thing about it is like that the new attorney line I think it's because it's not very well defined. Yeah. You know, it it feels so far kind of like it's a um, it's it's like it's deluxe without being deluxe. Yep. You know, where we're kind of getting two versions on a lot of these. So then whenever you get one, you know, a, a new attorney of character that's that's uh, kind of more just a a singular version. I mean, he's got the mask, but it doesn't really create a whole separate version of the character like some of the other figures. So yeah. Um, it's it's kind of a weird um, weird thing because they haven't really explained what New Eternia means, whether it's uh, gonna be kind of new imaginings or just what they're doing, you know. Yeah. So, but yeah, I, I think six and a half uh, seems about right. I don't think there's a lot more they could have done. A few little things here and there, but the, but I think it's a really great figure. Yeah, I think so too. And that wraps up our review of the Masterverse New Eternia Jitsu figure. So let us know what you think in the comments below. I'm Michael. And I'm Larry. And thanks for dropping into the Toy Habits examination room.